Hello everyone and welcome to the Honey Bee Stamps YouTube channel. This is Kelly and I'm excited to introduce you to the products from our Perfect Day release. Today's products are all about spending the perfect day on the beach. So let's get started with today's beach stamps and dies. First up, I have a standalone stamp set that is called Seaside Summer. So it has everything you need to create a stamped seaside scene. Everything from the water to the waves, little islands with trees. It makes you look like you're on the Oregon or Washington coast. There are the little sand dune fences, little speckles that can either go across your water or your sand, the glistening sun or the moon that can go across your water. There are clouds. There is a sailboat. There are different types of sea grasses and reeds. There are also birds. Now here's a look at a card that I have created with the Seaside Summer stamp set. You can see all the layers of sand to the water, the little islands, the palm trees, and the seagulls. Next is a standalone die set called Shoreline Scene Builder. Now this scene is going to build a shoreline with sand dunes and the little fences. There are the grasses and reeds and cattails. There's a palm tree. There are birds. There's even a big umbrella so you can set your little beach chair under the umbrella. Now here's a card that I created using all of those dies. I did a daytime afternoon scene, but this would also be amazing to do a silhouette card in the sunset using darker die cuts. Next is a standalone die set called the Ocean Deep Scene Builder. Now this is really cool because using different colors of paper, you can cut out the depths of the water and then you can cut your corals and your fish and your turtle and your different sea grasses and create a really cool underwater scene. Here's a card that I created using all of those dies with colored cardstock, some white cardstock, ink blending, and colored pencils for details. Next is the newest addition to our Lovely Layers collection, and this is the Lovely Layers Seashore. It cuts a big, tall piece of seagrass or stalk of seagrass, and it has three different layering seashells. Here I've created a window card using one of our oval dies, some patterned paper, and then that lovely Layers Seashore die collection. You can see all the painted shells and that beautiful seagrass there. Now I have a brand new cover plate, and this is the Waves Pierced a2 cover plate. As you can see, it is four and a quarter by five and a half. It does not have cut lines around the edges, but it has that beautiful pierced design that will cut through and pierce your paper as you run that through your die machine. Next is our new set of stencils called Layered Waves. There are two stencils in this set, and if I pull these out of the packaging, let's get a closer look. So the two stencils are going to give you a layered wave look for the ocean, so perfect for your ocean scenes. You can brush on blues or teals, and the sizes of the openings are going to give you variations in those waves and the colors. Next I have a stamp and die set that is called Seashells. These are going to be so fun to color, but there are several different types of seashells and then greetings to go along with those as well. So we have you are like a seashell, unique and completely amazing. May your days be filled with sunshine and seashells. Just a note, and seashells are like love letters in the sand. Now there's also a coordinating die set that's going to cut out every single one of those images in that stamp set along with the greetings. Here, the owner of Honeybee Stamps, Melissa, has created a beautiful seashell card by painting her shells, adding some shimmer, and then a beautiful I love you to the beach and back greeting. We have a beautiful stamp set that's going to be perfect for all of your beachy cards. So this is called Seize the Day, and there's some great ocean greetings in here, like thank you from the depths of my heart, long time no see, seize the day, see you soon, 
Let the waves hit your feet and the sand be your seat. All you need is some vitamin C. Let your dream set sail. Congratulations on your retirement. And there's also a happy retirement there. There's many more greetings in that set. There's a coordinating die set that's going to cut out every one of the Seize the Day greetings. Next is the Ocean Circlescape die and the Circle Scapes Shaker Frames. Now, this circle shape die creates an ocean scene. You can see the waves there. You can ink blend that or use different colors of paper. There's also the rays of the sun. And then the die set that goes along with it is called Circle Scapes Shaker Frames. You can create a frame just to go around your circle scape piece, or you can create a shaker card. And I'm going to create a shaker card for today's video. So I have taken these dies and started cutting out all of my pieces of paper. I'm also going to use that Waves A2 pierced cover plate as the background for my shaker. So I've used our Ocean Circlescape die set and you can see all the pieces that I have cut there. So it's going to cut out all those little pieces. I've cut a white piece of paper to glue my circle skate down to, and then also a piece of acetate. I also have a wood planked pattern paper frame that's going to go around all the edges. So first up, I am taking my craft cardstock, and that's going to be the sandy pieces to my beach or my ocean circle scape, and I'm adding a little bit of gathered twigs to one edge where it's going to look like the water has kind of run up and darkened up that sand. Now, to make sure that my circle scape fits on the backer perfectly, I'm going to use the die, so that circle die, and then the die for my circle scape scene to make sure that I am in the center of that white circle. So I'm just going to layer it over the top and kind of eyeball where I need to start placing the pieces for my scene. So I have the rays of the sunshine, and then I'm going to add a little bit darker of yellow cardstock for the actual sun. I'm going to clean up my little gluey mess there, and I love to use either my the sharp end of my tweezers or my die pick to kind of wiggle things around, clean things up, and then next I'm going to start placing the water. I've cut the water out of two different colors of turquoise cardstock, so I'm just going to start inserting those little waves. And these are easy to put together because they go together like little puzzle pieces. All I have to do is slip my little uh, pieces of cardstock into their position. So I'm going to place two colors of darker turquoise cardstock and then one lighter piece of cardstock. And then I can place my sandy pieces there at the bottom. Now you could totally do. Uh, all of those wavy layers as water and not add any sand at all, but I thought it would be fun to add kind of a beachy area there to the bottom. So once I get all of my wave pieces set, I can go ahead and uh, take some adhesive to the sandy pieces. And again, I'm going to lay that right in, use my tweezers to kind of move everything around. And then I'm going to take the last piece, and you'll see here, if I try to put it in the wrong way, it doesn't fit. So flip it over, and everything's going to fit together perfectly, just like a puzzle piece. Now, this set is to look like those boho kind of trendy art pieces that you see all over Pinterest or maybe in your home decor stores. A lot of times you'll see different colors of wood or painted wood or different art pieces. So that is kind of the style that we're going with here. So you can see all of my little scene is all put together. I added my frame to the acetate piece with some of our liquid adhesive. And next, I'm going to take some very narrow foam strips, and I like to take the backer off because it just makes it easier to shape that foam into a circle. 
So it's going to go around a lot easier and you're going to be able to shape it a lot easier if you take the backer off. So I'm just using my fingers to stick everything down. And you can see I kind of hold everything with my left hand and then kind of set it or nestle it into place with the right hand. I can kind of trim off the piece, that short piece, clean up my acetate so we don't have any dust or anything like that. And then I am taking some older sequins we have and dumping those into a little dish. And I chose turquoise and then some clear. And I'm going to add these onto the scene backer piece. I'm not going to put them inside that shaker part. So I'm going to pour them right over the top. And now I'm going to take my time to spread them out really thin. I don't want any piled up areas of little sequins because then our acetate is not going to go down all the way or we're going to have little sequins and things that stick into our shaker card. So I'm going to add now my wood grained frame. I'm just being very careful to get that all the way around the edge and line up the edges. And then I press all that foam into place. Now it takes me just a second to make sure I get all my sequins kind of going down there. And then I love how those sequins look like the waves rushing up or little bubbles. Super fun. I am going to adhere my waves A2 pierced piece onto craft paper and that's going to go along with kind of our wood boho theme that we have going on. It's going to match that wood grain frame that I put around the edges and now I can just add my whole shaker circle right onto my card base. Make sure everything is nice and straight and then I'm going to take our new foil and die cut set and pick out a sentiment that goes kind of with our beachy theme. And so on this card, I did best wishes, and I'm gonna add wishes first, so I kinda know where everything's gonna go. So I'm gonna put my lower die cut first, and then I can add best right above that. So I'm going to add that down, make sure I don't make too big of a mess with my liquid adhesive. But if you ever need to clean up liquid adhesive on your acetate, just take a microfiber cloth or something like that and it cleans right up. So here is our shaker card. Here's a different version where I added the foil sending love sentiment. And I just love how these pieces turned out. So this has been day two of our perfect day release. Make sure you check out the description box below for more information and join me tomorrow for day three. Bye-bye.